Hey guys, we're back at Country Classic Cars today. This time they're having a sale. So last time I was here, we weren't having a sale. <laughs> but they had some good cars here that we took a good look at. And we got mostly hot rods, mostly pony cars, more Novas and Mustangs, and uh, we even did a Barracuda. Yeah, we did a Cuda here last time. But this time today, they're having a sale, and I think it's a lot of their older stock that they get rid of. But you have some decent cars, some good condition cars, and hopefully we find some even better condition cars for sale. So maybe some hot rides and some dragsters. Hopefully a good Mustang or a Camaro. You know, hey, even a, a nice hot ride from Dodge. So we're gonna take a look around, see what we can find. Okay guys, hey look, we got ourselves a 73 Mercury Cougar. This thing is possessing a 5.8 or 351 motor in it. It's a convertible, power steering, power brakes, some nice, decent aftermarket part uh, wheels. And it's a decent looking car. For those who like buying cars like these and fully restoring them, passenger side looks really nice. Let's see something. Door is unlocked. Now we can look inside. Get a good feel for this. Door panel is in great condition. Cars on the inside. It's pretty cool in here. Pretty good. Pretty good. As you see the back seats. Back seats. Vinyl or cloth. But they're in good condition. Automatic shifter. Hey, door closed real nice. Everything seems to be straight on the body and nothing out of line. Let's look at the information real quick. 73 Mercury Cougar. Texas car. Also, uh, it had a recent restoration. Okay. And you guys see the price. We're going to take a look at the driver's side real quick. We're going to walk around the back of it. And these are some nice rims on here. As dual exhaust. That's nice to have. <laughs> Especially with 351. Trunk. It's in great well. It was recently painted, so everything's in decent condition here. You know. But when you see this, you know that's aftermarket. <laughs> I will say one thing, these seats are in excellent condition here. Center console, not much to it. That speaker is out, but that's fixable. Door paneling, good condition. Well, if you guys like it, it's sitting here at Country Classic Cars. It's been a while since I've been here. I think since the beginning of the year, but hey, they've had some nice cars to come through and go, but this is a decent find. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the next car. Okay, guys, look what we found. It's a 57 Chevy Bel Air. It says that it's sold, but it's still sitting here. We're gonna take a quick look at it. There's no specs on this car. 
This car has some decent tires on here. Uh, caps. The old traditional Bel Air Chevy sign. Look at them tips on the pipe sticking out the back. Nice chrome bumper. The fins are in excellent condition. Trunk is in excellent condition. Maybe this is open. Yes, it is. Nice door paneling. Nice color, red and black. Excellent condition with DC. So you know this is a restoration. Look at that dashboard. Almost look brand new. Gonna make our way to the driver's side real quick. Hey, that door closes real nice. Yeah, this is a nice car here. <laughs> nice, really done Chevy Bel Air. Too bad they don't have anything on the windshield to tell you more about the specs, but hey, this thing is really nice. Let's check the driver's side. Easy to open up door, paneling is nice. Oh yeah, this is a nice car. Fifty-seven Chevy. Oh Chevy boy, this is nice. Uh oh. <laughs> Still a nice car. All right, guys, we got ourselves a Chevy. Over to the next car. Okay, guys, here we go. 1964 Pontiac Catalina. This thing here, I wouldn't want to get hit by this car. At low to the ground speed. <laughs> There's a stick shift with a 389 in it. This thing is a solidly built car. I don't see any rust on it. And it's supposed to be a barn find. Well, I'm going to tell you what, barn find or not, this thing is in excellent condition, man. I see a little roughness right here, but that's nothing. Surface. I'm not finding any quarter panel damage or any rust on the outside. This Catalina is nice, man. Maybe that was the best thing for it, sitting in the uh, barn. Out of the elements. You know, the paint is faded right there, but who cares? You can always repaint this car. Fix what little bit it needs. I throw some duels on here with some cherry bombs. <laughs> or get some out of Flowmaster. You know, this car is very, very nice. Very nice. Let's take a look on the inside. Yeah, you see that clutch pedal. See the little knob in there for the stick shift? Four speed. 120 on the dash, or should I say the speedometer. And the dashboard looks really good, man. I'm glad they put this thing in the bar. This car is in excellent condition for a Catalina. I 
it's not a bad color with this blue, light blue and dark blue. I think it's nice. It's different. Headliner is in excellent condition too. Look at that. Barn find. Give me a barn treasure. This is a great car. Door panels is in good condition. Yeah, so what if the cushion needs to be fixed up? You can replace that. That ain't no big deal. And look, old school roller to let the window down. And that one to pop out. <laughs> huh. Look at that. Door closes real nice. Let's take a look at the passenger side. Hey yeah, guys, now this passenger side is in just as good condition as the driver's side. This cushion here is pretty much better than the other one, of course. But um, if we look in, it's not much wear and tear in here. I'm thinking this was a, a, a husband and wife type of car or his type of car. And they just, once they were done with it, they parked it in, or he or husband and wife parked it in the barn and just left it. Maybe as a reserve car. I know some people used to do that if they had another car. It's in great condition. They'd park it in the barn or the garage and it would sit there until they actually needed it. And this thing is in excellent condition. Sitting here at Country Classic Cars. Let's see what they say as far as information. There you go, 1964 Pontiac Catalina Ventura, factory four speed, 389 cubic inch, power steering, barn fine. So guys, you know where to find it down here at Country Classic Cars. We'll move to the next car. As you can see guys, there's a lot of pink slips in the windows on these classic imports. Okay guys, look at this. These 1932 and early model cars are sitting here at Country Classic for sale. These remind me of the ones that's up there at the museum I did. And man, those were, well, they were much better condition. They were very clean. But I'm gonna show you, they have some more back this way here at Country Classic Cars. And these are all for sale. The rest of them back that way were for, had the pink slip. So pretty sure they're looking to do a deal with anyone who's willing to come in and buy them. But these are the better ones they got sitting down here. You got a nice Ford right there another Ford. 